Really quickly, I'm going to list off all of the things that you need to do before you invest in the stock market. Disclaimer, you can invest in the stock marketplace whenever you want. You can do it right now if you wanted to, really. But without these essential steps, um, that won't last. It just is not gonna last. Without these essential steps going through these phases of development to become an investor, you won't really be an investor. You will be a pawn that investors use to make profit for themselves in the marketplace. So. Okay, number one, organize your finances and your accounts and your spending habits. Number two, create a plan for your finances for that year and for the next 10 years. Number three, you know, do an emergency fund and get the essential insurances and make sure you can afford those. Number four, contribute to debt and get debt off of your plate. You know, number five, keep progress and organization um, tracked within a actual financial plan. Number six, increase your income for as little investment and as little as time and energy as possible. Um, number seven, educate yourself on investing for free. Number eight, find a mentor and model the behaviors of investing role models online. Number nine, network and find people who have the same values as you and who want to invest, you know, as just like you want to invest who are in your niche so that you guys can have, you know, those critical conversations about investing. Want to invest into a savings account, an insurance account, and your retirement account before you invest in the stock marketplace for passive income, for real passive income gains. And if you're and if you're thinking, okay, well, I will just drop like a lump sum of money, like when I when I get the cash from investing, like when I make ten thousand dollars from investing, I'm going to drop that into my retirement uh, account, and then that'll grow, and then I'll be okay. Now, there's multiple issues with that strategy. Hello, good afternoon. These are the essential steps or rather phases that you need to move through before you start to invest into the stock market. We think the money is readily available for us and we are so quick to go and try to grab it, but that is how we lose massive amount of money. That is how we go into debt and that is how we miss payments is because we get overly ambitious without actually going through all the proper stages of how to um, secure yourself before you go and gamble your money into the stock marketplace so I'm going to give you all the tips really quickly so let's go one you need to organize your finances and understand the different kinds of accounts that you need to keep yourself accountable for everything that you're about to do number two you're going to want to save and invest in some kind of emergency insurance and so that could be um, a lump sum of cash or that can be insurance number three you need to have a debt plan as well as um, monthly debt payments so that you can reduce the amount of debt that you have. The next step is to become debt free or as close to being debt free as you can. So those four initial steps, basically it's like putting, it's like creating a, a giant financial plan to get yourself to be debt free. So really that first, you know, phase, the first stage is to create a financial plan um, to be debt free so that the, your money is yours to invest. The financial plan is also going to be used for progress tracking and after you develop that financial plan to get yourself debt free the next thing that you're going to want to do is increase your income with as little investment and as little time and energy as possible something that you can work on a little bit every day for like a week or a month and then you start to um get income and in most cases that is to pick a part-time job or a like part-time remote job that is like 
as little investment as you can and it has very quick returns. A lot of options, you gotta take a look at what it takes to actually get into that, um, that new job that you have because it can take a lot of time and effort. Um, like, you know, for example, e-commerce can take a lot of time and effort. So you're just gonna really want to explore like what is gonna work out best for, for you as quickly as possible. You're gonna wanna start to earn that little income here and there, here and there, because it's critical that you have like four figures saved to be able to start to invest in the stock marketplace. So then after you figure out a way to increase your income and you start increasing your income and you're saving and you're contributing to debt and you're becoming even more debt free, you're following your financial plan, then you can start to educate yourself on investing. That, you know, when you, you could do it in your free time, but really if you are not organized in your finances but in the first place, if you don't have a financial plan in the first place, then you're going to want to do that first before you start to educate yourself in investing and get yourself super enthusiastic and excited about investing when you don't have the organization and accountability or cash on hand to do it in the first place. So educate yourself however that is. There's tons of free information on the internet and I have some of that so you can come to me for that too. Okay, next after you educate yourself you're going to want to find a mentor at multiple mentors someone who's going to parent you through investing as well as just role models that you're going to learn from who are publishing free information on the internet and free resources and you're going to access that and you're going to model their behavior tons of youtubers are doing it they're releasing all of their mindsets uh, practices their habits their routines their structures so that you can follow suit so they are mentoring you for free but i would also advise finding someone in your life who invests and talking to them about it and building a relationship where they can actually like kind of parent you through the process that was really really crucial um okay and then after you you know find your mentors find your role models and you're starting to learn you're educating yourself and you're being super accountable and now you can move on to the next phase which is to start to network and find friends who invest you know you are the average of you know the five people that you are closest to so if the five people that you are closest to do not invest or do not have the behaviors of an investor then you are probably not you're probably you're the average of them so you probably won't do the same you know so you're going to want to expand your network online is the easiest you know to find people who are also interested in investing connect with people and have those conversations that'll take you to a higher place okay so the last thing so now you know you can start investing but not in the stock marketplace actually there are a couple of places that you have to invest first before you can just you know really start loading large sums of cash into your um into your trading platform number one is of course your savings account the next is an emergency fund or insurances essential insurances such as health care um you know perhaps car insurance if you have a car um and life insurance which is super crucial because you know life is unpredictable so you know you're going to want to get those at critical uh insurances and that can serve as a type of emergency fund um and then the last thing that you would want to invest in before you know stocks is your retirement and actually looking into okay like how can i start that or where can i go for that um, and how can I actually contribute to it on a regular basis? Because retirement is like going to happen for you, you know, God forbid that it doesn't. But I would say that investing into your retirement and figuring out your retirement first is, you know, a better way, a better strategy because The stock marketplace will always be there, but you know, retirement is something that you build. The stock marketplace is something that you um, use as a tool, uh, and it's it's like a job. 
So it's always going to be there, but you need to build your retirement. And if you're and if you're thinking, okay, well, I will just drop like a lump sum of money, like when I when I get the cash from investing, like when I make ten thousand dollars from investing, I'm going to drop that into my retirement uh, account, and then that'll grow, and then I'll be okay. Now there's multiple issues with that strategy. Um, for one, ten thousand dollars is like not enough for retirement. That's like one year or something. Um, you know, another reason that that's wrong that that's not a uh, good another reason that's not a good strategy for you is because um, actually you want to take those ten thousand dollars and reinvest it in the stock marketplace, and that actually be more lucrative for you than uh, putting it into a retirement plan that uh, you know doesn't have as much upside potential as the stock market. So. You know, if you take your gains out of the stock market to put it into a um, a lower growing uh, plan, you, you, um, you know, it, it's just a balance of like, what's the risk and, and, and what are your priorities? So just like scratch all that, scratch all that and invest in your retirement first. And then you can start to, you know, really take advantage of the stock market if you feel comfortable enough. Now, if you don't feel comfortable enough and if you don't, uh, what did you, you know, this is a lot of information, right? Like this is a lot of steps. This is a lot of phases that you have to go through, right? Um, so I would just say reach out to me because I actually do financial planning. We can take care. We can take care of all of those things like organizing your finances and your accounts, you know, emergency fund planning, you know, debt planning, um, you know, goal setting, retirement, the insurance, the savings components. Um, you know, really assessing your situation, your values, you know, automating certain payments and, you know, goal setting and planning for each goal and diversifying and progress tracking, all of those things come into a financial plan, right? So, uh, you know, come, like, come, let's come, let's come talk about it. Like, let's just like hang out and talk about it and keep each other accountable on um, our financial goals. <sighs> Yeah, so that's, those are really all the things that you want to do. Please click the link below and let's invest in each other.